All right, legends, welcome back. So in the last couple of videos, we talked about introduction to frames and keyframes. What are frames? Really quick, a frame is one image of many images that will complete a moving picture. And right now we're at 29 frames per second. And what is a keyframe? A keyframe is a location on our timeline that is either a beginning or an end of a transition. And I created this just right now, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to make it. You know what this reminds me of? Check it out first. Reminds me of the old Batman with Adam West. Every time they would change from a scene to a scene, they'd have like that. That's kind of my half-ass Adam West Batman transition. How did I do that? Well, let's go ahead and start from the top. So I'm gonna pull this image in right here. Just right now, it's just picture and picture. And let's look at our attributes or stats or whatever you wanna call it over here on the right, our parameters, I'm sorry. And uh, okay, so we're at, it's in the center, X and Y axis, uh, zero and zero, scale to 100%, keep those in mind. Let's go ahead and create a keyframe. Now, how I did that is every half second, I wanted to have this go in and out. So half, so it would be one second to go in and out. So, okay, so right now I'm at, I'm at my 13th frame and we're at 29 frames per second. What's 29? What's half of 29? About 14. So I'm gonna go up to, God, what's 14 plus 13? 27. Okay, so we've got a keyframe right here and I'm gonna go up to 27 and stop it right here. Now it's gonna create an automatic keyframe for us. Anytime we move it again, obviously if we're going from one size to another, it's gonna create one for us. As you can see up in the top left right there, the keyframe went from or from gray to orange. Let me bring it back to 100. Okay, it's in orange. And let's put it right there. How about that? Okay, so let's look over on the right-hand side and our scale is at 16.77. Let's remember that. So let's go ahead and drop it right there. Now, another half second would be what is, okay, so three, okay, so it's gonna roll over at 29. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This would be another half second. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back to 100. Just like that. That's pretty close. Now let's go again. Let's go 14 plus 11 would be 25. Just like that. Now let's pull that back down to, what was it like 16 or 17? I told you guys to write the number down. I didn't write it down. No one's gonna know, I promise. Let's go to 16, 16, 17, just like that. That'll work for me. Okay, so 14 plus 25, it's gonna roll, it's gonna stop at 29 though. So we're gonna go to 10, just like that. And let's pull it back out to 100. Like I said, right now, anytime we move something, uh, this is gonna go from gray to orange because we're creating a keyframe. We're, we're creating this from a 17, this PNG is at a 17% scale to a 100% scale, which we're gonna pull back up to right now. This was the size that we pulled it in at, just like that. And it created a keyframe for us because it's the image and we effed with it. We messed around with it. So let's check it out. So every half second, it's gonna go in. So it's gonna start right now. When it pops back out, that's gonna be one second. So it's gonna be one, two, two seconds. So with keyframes, the sky's the limit. You can do anything you want. In the next video, I wanna talk about fading to black. I wanna talk about pulling in text. I wanna talk about adding effects and using keyframes. Hopefully this made sense. Good luck with this. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.